Well, who else dance when they get something good? Like, some yummy cookies that consist of chocolate chips, marshmallows with a caramel sauce drizzled all on top of it. Yum. You ready? Yes! All right, let's go. So these are the ingredients that we are going to need. First you're gonna need salt, vanilla, caramel sauce, one egg, flour, sugar, brown sugar, Butter, baking soda, you're gonna need marshmallows, and chocolate chips. And in order to measure all these things, we are going to need a half a cup, one cup, and a set of measuring spoons. So, let's get started! Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to cream together a half a cup of each of the white sugar and the brown sugar, and the butter. So we're gonna put this in the mixing bowl and get that done. We are going to mix the eggs into the mixture. Alright guys, so we are halfway there already. We are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and you can mix that for a minute. to our dry ingredients. So obviously the first dry ingredient we need is the flour. So we are gonna add one and a half cup of flour and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Flour, flour, until we preheat our oven. So I'm gonna just turn our oven to 350 degrees. Always start off slow, kids. Now that the mixer is slowing down, you can speed it up. Go faster. I'm just gonna take this spoon and scrape around the sides. So that we don't miss Look at all this deliciousness. Can you see it, guys? It's so yummy. I'm probably gonna lick like this after. What better time to make cookies with your family than Christmas? It's perfect. Bacon for the holidays. Bacon for the holidays. Bacon for the holidays. Bacon for the holidays. And just so you know, this will make about one. 
one dozen cookies. What? One dozen. Twelve cookies. This will make about twelve cookies. You can double the recipe um, if you want to. I actually halved it because my family goes crazy and I believe them going crazy right now with cookies when we still have carrot cake in the fridge. <laughs> Cookie carrot cake. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now we are going to add a cup of semi-sweet chocolate morphine. Chocolate chips, guys. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Chips are yummy. I thought they, oh yeah, I like those so yummy. Mm, 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 mm. They go, and cookies, they're so yummy. Chocolate cake cookies are the best. We can eat them forever. <laughs> With the rest. <laughs> All right, here you go. One cup of chocolate chips, and then I'm gonna do one cup of marshmallows. We are almost out of marshmallows, so I'm probably just gonna finish these in here. Let's see if we have enough. Should have this should probably be it looks like it's exactly one cup look at that look at that okay don't put these in yet first i want you to mix, mix what we have here okay, let's lock it. and this can go a little higher is preheated. And now I'm just gonna set my timer for about nine minutes and then I'm gonna check it and see if it's ready. Nine minutes. While we are waiting for the cookies, Ariana is gonna put the rest of the cookie, well, however many we can fit on this cookie sheet. Sometimes it's more than a dozen, give or take. Reason why is because it depends on how big or small you make the cookies. Most of the times we make them pretty small, so it ends up being about 20 
sometimes two dozen cookies. But we'll see how many we have at the end of this, and I'll be sure to let you know. But right now they're like, we're making little balls like that way. Right? Mm -hmm. So guys, let us know in the comments down below if you like these videos, these cooking videos, and we'll make more. Um, I'm thinking about making different types of cookies this Christmas, like with Reese's peanut butter cookies. that we'd love to eat, as well as um, some crisp, pretty Christmas sugar cookies. So just let us know in the comments back down below if you guys want to see more of that. I see what's happening, yeah. Five more minutes, we gotta check Face to face with greatness and it's strange. Don't even, even know how you feel. You're it's adorable. It's <laughs> nice to see that humans never change. Open your eyes, let's <laughs> begin. <laughs> I just want to let you know that when you first take the cookies out, you want to keep them on the cookie sheet just for a few minutes to cool a little bit. Um, they are going to keep cooking on there though, so don't leave them on there too long and you're going to move them to a cooling rack. Okay guys, so since me and my mom made this, I get to be the first one to try the yummy numby marshmallow chocolate chip cookie. Let's open the caramel little, little squirrely. Okay, for the moment of truth, does it taste as good as it looks? Delicious. This should we call the boys so they can test? Okay. All right, guys. Now it's my turn to try this cookie. I'm gonna put some of this caramel sauce on there. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's a little bit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like milk at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you about to go in? I'm curious. I'm going to some milk real quick. Alright. So, try mine without caramel and without milk or anything. huge success so I will be making more of them during this Christmas season so I'm out y'all that's it that's the end of this video live la love what's up Peapod it's Ari if you like that video give us a big thumbs up and leave us a comment and if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell oh and remember to live live love peace